Hi, my name is Lauren Cruz, and I'm a wildlife biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And I'd like to wish you a very happy World Migratory Bird Day. So, to celebrate World Migratory Bird Day, we're going to make one of my favorite migratory shorebirds, the piping plover, in cottonball form. So this guy's looking a little lonely, so he needs a partner, so we're going to make him one. All you need for this craft are a couple cotton balls, googly eyes, uh, pipe cleaners, a sharpie, scissors, as well as a brown paper bag, just so you can cut out the wings. So the first things first is to pick up your first cotton ball. We're going to make the body. All you want to do is just gently pull on it to make it nice and fluffy. Because these guys, their chicks especially, look like little cotton balls with two fixed for legs. It's super adorable. So, just gonna make it nice and fluffy. There we go. We have a body. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then for the head, we're actually going to divide the cotton ball in half. Just to make a smaller head. That's going to go on just like this. So we're going to use tacky glue to glue this all together. There's a little dot right here. There you go. So that's our body. Then we're going to go around and make it. Now you only need like a half inch of orange pipe cleaner. They don't really have long hair. All you have to do is fold it in half, put a little dot of glue just on it. Just like that. Then, we're going to put some googly eyes on it. So I'm going to pick the smallest ones here. Such a small little bit. We need just a dot of tacky glue on each of these eyes. Okay, he might fall over a little bit right now, but once we get the wings on him, he'll stand up straight. Or she will stand up straight. Other eye on, just like that. And now we're going to cut out the wings. So when you're cutting out the wings, you just want to cut two petal shapes. So, start here, just curve this way, curve this way with the other one. That's one wing right here. Let's make another. Another curve one way, another curve the other way. Meet at the end. There's two. I'm just gonna put it over there so it doesn't blow away. adorable clover right there. And now the final touch, but definitely not the least important one. We have to put that nice distinctive unibrow on this clover. All you have to do is take your sharpie to draw the line just right down the top. There you have it. Nice little clover. Go next to this one. And then you could take you could go to the beach, get your favorite shells and stones, and then make a nice little beach scape for your plovers to nest in. 